Hi everybody. Uh, recently Felix Imler made a video where he modified the wire stripper in the bottle opener of the 90 of a 91 mm Victorinox to make it look like the wire stripper here because he said this one doesn't work. Now um, this video is to show how this works. Now others have made videos of stripping wire with this tool. Now it, it, it is compared to compared to this one which seems to have a rather sharp edge this one doesn't seem to now uh, at first glance but more on that later. This video is to show how to use this tool to strip wire just like Victor Inox said. Others have made videos where they put the wire into this notch, lift up the blade a little bit, let the wire go all the way to so that it's so that it's under the blade. I don't even know how to do that with this one. There you go. And then they rotate the entire tool in an effort to use a blade to cut through coating and then use this notch to pull away the tool. Some others have made another video, which I thought was a bit clever, where they put a wire into this notch and they close this all the way. When they pull it back out, the uh, coating has come off. Now, admittedly, this notch will only take wires that are as wide as this. And I am using wires that are narrow enough to fit in there. Having said that, now, the, the problem with everything that people are saying and what Felix said yesterday is, like Felix showed himself, there is a video, uh, there, there, there are instructions on the leaflet by Victor Renox that say that the wire can be stripped mere, by not having to put it under the blade or crushing it into this... Um, gap here but merely by putting it in the notch like this and pulling like so i've all i've never done i had never done it before because i don't see any sharp edge here like we see on this one so when uh, i was wondering recently how in the world would this notch work and in order to figure that out one or this one time I put my nail in there and I felt that edge and I found something surprising. A bit of my nail actually came off from rubbing on that edge. I realized this edge is, is rough. It's not smooth at all. It, I tried then to use my nail on this edge here and I don't feel that same roughness at all. To have a notch of a more aggressive looking notch of this type in my mind i could be wrong here is more of a u.s american aesthetic i realize that this notch actually has sharp edges which are not very visible and in my mind is typical of swiss aesthetic to demonstrate that this is sharp i have these cotton threads uh doubled uh, so there are two uh, per thread that I've tied to my table and I'm going to demonstrate to you how sharp this notch is. It's not very sharp but it's sharp enough to do the job. For example, if I were to hold this thread tight and push with what I called the smooth edge earlier and I rub, nothing happens. But if I were to put it into that notch like so and do that, it, in, it cuts away. I'll demonstrate again. I'm holding it tight, pushing it in with the smooth edge, nothing happens. Put it into that notch and push away. Oh, this one happened more easily. Uh, one of them cut away, as you can see. Uh, let's see if I can cut the other one quickly. There you go. So this notch actually has a sharp edge that's not easily visible to the naked eye. You can feel it if you do that. Now does it work on wire? I have here wire that I found outside my house 
in the garbage. This is broadband wire that was of a broadband connection that was given to me a few years ago. Obviously, it cannot cut through the main coating because it doesn't fit in there. But these smaller wires in here, let me demonstrate. Just like Victorinox said, you don't have to do any more than they've already told you in the instructional video by Victorinox that I will also post a link to below here. All you do is that. And there you go. That coating has come off. I'll demonstrate again with the red wire so that you can see it against the paper that I put here for the purposes. You push it in there against a sharp edge and the coating comes off. You don't have to do any other gimmicks of using the blade or pushing it in there as long as the wire is small enough to fit in here. Obviously, uh, if you have a bigger wire, you may have to first use, for example, the pen blade. Or if you're good enough, skilled enough, maybe the large blade. Like, like there. You cut through the outer insulation like that. There it's come off. Knife safety first, always close it. Then you can strip this wire with the bottle opener. So in other words, this notch, unlike the reputation it seems to have with many reviewers who don't know what to do, if you just repeat what's exactly in the diagram in the instructional booklet that comes from Victorinox or uh, the instructional video that you, I have posted a link to below, the, if the wire fits into this notch, it will strip it. There. There you go. So, this is what I wanted to say. This is why I disagree with what Felix said about this notch being not being very useful. It is useful the way it is for what it's meant for. And I don't see the need to modify that to look like this. Although, admittedly, this is quite good, yes. But this is no less as far as function goes. So that's my two bits on how to actually use the notch on the bottle opener to do what uh, uh, what Victorinox says it will in the way they say it will. That's all.